Every so often we're graced with the type of bad acting that becomes an instant classic in the Hall of Fame of terrible performances. There's a lot of subtlety that goes into crafting the perfectly acted movie scene. But these actors have never heard of suspension of disbelief. They couldn't even act wet in water. Which do you think is worse? And please tell us which ones you liked in the comments below. Welcome. This is Motley TV. John Foley enters the CD realm of the underworld. Survival is the name of the game and do unto others before they do unto you is the only rule to live by. The final fight scene between our two main characters is beyond amateurish. It's the type of fight scene that you and your friends would have made when you were 10. The ridiculous amount of slow motion also doesn't help. Paul W.S. Anderson's Mortal Kombat stands as one of the better more faithful adaptations of a video game. However, the sequel, titled Annihilation, is downright horrible. One of our main heroes Katana, is reunited with her mother Queen Sindel, whom she was under the belief had died. Mother, you're alive, she remarks. Sindel's reply to this statement is ridiculous because of her delivery. The misplaced emphasis makes the whole sentence sound awkward and non-threatening. Still, it's unintended comic relief in an otherwise boring film. Mother. You're alive. Too bad you will die. Too bad you will die. American rapper Raekwon gets shot in 2004's Coalition. The movie is a depiction of how New York's lucrative construction business is shaken by non-union labor. Raekwon's death looks more like the worst impression of a scarecrow ever. Zeynep is a flower selling girl who lives with her father. After her father gets murdered, she hooks up with a sensei who teaches her karate. She sets off on a mission for revenge. One particular bad guy gets shot over and over, each subsequent shot seeming to inflict more pain than the last. Watching this guy unconvincingly scream at the top of his lungs for what feels like forever is truly a sight to see.
This is a snuff movie involving the exploits of a cult leader leading a gang of bikers in a series of supposedly real killings on film. There are many murder scenes throughout this film involving knives, guns, and even jigsaws, all of which are poorly staged and very humorous. But this scene takes the cake. A martial arts rock band goes up against a band of motorcycle ninjas who have tightened their grip on Florida. The scene. One of our protagonists named Jim is about to hop in the shower when his friends inform him that he's received a letter. The letter contains some bad news, which causes Jim to go ahead first into a tearful monologue. What's going on here? trying to wake up the neighbors or what? Seen a faction for one night? Tell you what happened. Get enough, I'll tell you. Hey, you guys fighting or what? What happened? This letter. What letter? Todd, what happened? I don't know. He won't tell me. Huh? Jim, tell us. What happened? Jim, what is this letter? Tell us. Go ahead. Tell us. Why don't you explain to us? Come on, we're we're your best friends. Sorry, it's hiding from us from you guys. But, but this looks like your brother. I didn't know you have a brother. It's my father. What? This is your real father? Yes, it is. Are you sure? I didn't know you had a father. I thought we are all orphans. My mother was Korean, and my father was black American. She gave me this picture when she was real sick. I was only nine years old. They say that they loved each other and they were real loyal. They were real happy. But then when he finished military duty, he left. And we never saw him again. She told me to find him. But I didn't like him because he left us. But I knew one day when I grew up, I'd find him. Whether he was dead or alive. I sent a couple letters to the defense department. 